Well, we thought you'd like to know that Jim Davidson has reciprocated. Chaz and Dave will be his guests at 8 on Wednesday night. On Christmas Sunday at 7.15 on ITV, we present the British television premiere of Alistair MacLean's bestseller, Bear Island. Whose side are you on, Smitty? The side that's staying alive. It's not making a move until we find out who all the players are and what they're up to. Well, I know who two of them are. Something's wrong! At 9.25, music and laughter with Seacombe at Christmas. The shepherd who is ailing, the milkmaid who is glum, the cobbler who is wailing, complaining is done. And at 10.30, Rod Stewart entertains in his own outrageous style with a blend of classic hits and new songs from his latest album. Tonight he's yours at 10.30 as part of your Christmas Sunday entertainment here on ITV. When it comes to choosing the right cigar for you, you'll find things have changed a bit since his day. Henry Winterman's were around then, and they're still making fine Dutch cigars today, like Henry Winterman's Special Mild. Milder than you'd expect. Gentler on your pocket, too. Special Mild from Henry Winterman's. A new breed of cigar for a new breed of bulldog. For nearly 200 years, Sandman have preserved some of their finest ports for the enjoyment of family and friends. Now, we are releasing our finest Founders Reserve in the knowledge that a port, mellow and distinguished enough to be named after our founder, can be enjoyed by a wider circle of friends. Sandman Founders Reserve, now available to a wider circle of friends. If you love the open road, you should arrange a test drive in the new Ford Sierra. With its advanced instrument layout, highly developed engines, aerodynamic body, and supple all-independent suspension, the new Ford Sierra is designed around the driver. Man and machine in perfect harmony. And, uh, I'm sure you will notice by the agenda. When the board meeting is getting really bored, and the minutes have been going on for hours, and you're offered who knows what instead of you know who, then Schwepping is taking advantage of a rather alarming interruption. Gin and Schwepp's tonic. To order the civilized world's favorite tonic. And hoping that the chairman doesn't realize that you used your seat on the board to press for an adjournment. This is London Weekend Television, your Christmas weekend ITV. Now the news from ITN with Sandy Gall. Good evening. In her Christmas message, the Queen praised the courage and skill of the armed forces in the Falklands War. She also thanked the Commonwealth for what she described as the immensely reassuring support given to Britain during the crisis. The theme of her message was Britain's maritime history and the need to control the seas. We owe our independence to the seamen who fought the Armada nearly 400 years ago, and to Nelson and his band of brothers who destroyed Napoleon's dreams of invasion. Nor could the great battles for peace and freedom in the first half of the 20th century have been won without control of the seas. Earlier this year in the South Atlantic, the Royal Navy and the Merchant Navy enabled our sailors, soldiers and airmen to go to the rescue of the Falkland Islanders, 8,000 miles across the ocean, and to reveal the professional skills and courage that could be called on in defence of basic freedoms. The Royal Family went as usual to morning service at St George's Chapel in Windsor. Everyone was there except for the Queen Mother, who has a slight cold, and Prince Edward, who's in New Zealand. Both the Queen and the Princess of Wales wore pink. The Queen, of course, had recorded her Christmas message several days ago.
Princess Anne and Captain Mark Phillips brought their son, Peter. The Princess of Wales had a little trouble with the blustery wind. After the service, everyone went back to Windsor for Christmas lunch. The Archbishop of Canterbury has praised the peace protesters and warned that the world faces terrible danger from the threat of nuclear war. But Dr. Runcie, who was preaching at Canterbury Cathedral, said protest wasn't enough. We had to become world citizens to survive. He said if we failed to cooperate with each other, the consequences would be deadly. Full-scale nuclear war is unwinnable, and there should be an end to all talk which makes it seem anything other than madness. I sympathize with those who have a pain in the mind and will not let this subject drop. I applaud those who demonstrate for peace, but protests and gestures are not enough. The Pope, in his Christmas address, prayed for fellow Poles, particularly, as he put it, those suffering or who've been taken from their loved ones. Speaking from the balcony above St. Peter's Square, he gave his traditional greeting in 42 languages. The Pope urged Christians to celebrate the new year as a jubilee, marking the 1950th anniversary of Christ's resurrection. Et benedictio Dei omnipotentis, patris et fili, et spiritus sancti. Eleven miners who've been staging a sit-in underground at Keneal Colliery in Scotland have ended their protest after four days. The men came to the surface after a union official spoke to them. They were objecting to plans to shut the pit. Now, some foreign news. The Russian news agency TASS has said NATO countries should seek detente on their own. It said they must choose between following Washington onto what it called a fatal path of confrontation or pursuing detente by themselves. At La Coruña in Spain, six people have died on board a houseboat which caught fire. Three young children, one aged nine, another five, and the other two died in the fire, which is thought to have been started by a defective stove. Off Nova Scotia, 13 crewmen have been rescued from a Panamanian freighter that caught fire. They were picked up by another ship. One man died in hospital after spending 15 minutes in the icy water. And in America, blizzard has cut off Denver, closing the city's airport and blocking many roads. More than three feet of snow has fallen since Christmas Eve, and hundreds of people have been stranded. 300 people spent the night in a school building after being trapped on a snowbound highway. Finally, it was a busy day for Sefton, the pride of the Blues and Royals, who was badly injured in the Hyde Park bombing in July. The star of the Horse of the Year show, who got over 100 Christmas cards, left Knightsbridge Barracks at 10.30 this morning. That's him in the second row on the far side. Sefton now pronounced completely fit, and 15 fellow workers went via Hyde Park to horse guards in Whitehall. There, despite the day and the raw air, quite a big crowd of sightseers had gathered to see the show. They soon got their money's worth. Sefton, steady as a rock, changing guard on Christmas Day. That's the news tonight. A very happy Christmas to you all. Good night. This Boxing Day evening at nine, Christmas comedy. It must be Eric and Ernie. Do you remember when we used to go to the stage door to sign autographs for our fans? Oh, some nights we were there for hours. Yes. And still they didn't show up. No. Come on, Keith. Come on, Keith. Absence strikes our friends. Come on, Keith. Come on, Keith. It's the best man in the land. Thank you, baby. Like you never heard before. Dracula's daughter? I think she is, yes. <laughs> she, uh... She can sit and watch with her mother. <laughs> the bitch. Oh, you've heard. And I would like to introduce you to one of the greatest actors in the country today. Good evening. Get off. Celebrate with Eric and Ernie, the Morecambe and Wise Christmas show this Boxing Day evening at 9 on ITV. Now the weather forecast. 
Tonight will be cloudy and misty with some occasional drizzle. It will be a mild night, temperatures not much below 9 degrees centigrade, 48 Fahrenheit, with a light southwesterly wind. Christmas Sunday will be mostly cloudy with outbreaks of rain or drizzle, but one or two brighter, drier spells are likely, especially during the afternoon. It will stay mild, temperatures rising to around 11 degrees centigrade, 52 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds from the southwest will be rather fresh at times. And that's the weather forecast. And that's the weather clipboard. Don't often see that. Special little treat for Christmas. Tomorrow night at 10.30, Rod Stewart in concert, a concert he recorded live in Los Angeles last Christmas. Now a musical treat with Cleo and John. Thank you.